Hey guys, it's Landon with Redefine Horizons, and I'm going to do a training video here. It's going to show you how you uh, create uh, the bearing, the uh, the line labels and curve labels, so bearings and distances and arc info for a plat. Okay, and and this could this workflow we're going to go through applies to it could apply to other things besides plats. It could apply to record or survey maps or other survey work products. So. It seems like a simple thing, right? We All we want to do is add some labels, but um, it's actually a little more complicated than you think. And if you don't have all your settings right and your scale right, you're going to do work that can't be used, right? So I gave one of my CAD techs uh, an assignment, and uh, they created some labels, but I couldn't use their work. <laughs> and it's not their fault because I haven't trained them properly. So part of what I'm trying to do with this video is show you guys the workflow, how you can make that happen. Let me shut my window. I got neighbor's dogs barking. Okay, so I've got my drawing here that I want to annotate. Okay, it's actually this line here. It's a center line of an access easement. Okay, these are just the tie lines. Don't worry about those. And uh, I'm in my annotation drawing, so this is actually x repped in. Okay, but <clears throat> before we do anything else, we got to figure out what scale does our labels need to be drawn at. Okay, because if you mess the scale up, nothing else matters. Okay, so to do that, you actually have to open up, you know, you got you to gotta know what mapping product you're putting together. So in this case, it's a plat. So I have the plat opened here. This is one of my map sheets in the plat, and I can see right here my scale is 200 feet. Okay, so I need to have my label set up to display properly at 200 feet. One inch equals 200 feet horizontal scale, okay, which for most of our stuff, our text height is a tenth of an inch, so that means my labels need to be set up to be 20 units tall model space, okay? So, let's uh, jump over to Carlson. So this is BricsCAD. This is where we do a kind of our finished drafting cleanup, but we do our survey stuff in Carlson, which I have open here, okay? And so, we're gonna do a couple things. So the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into settings, drawing setup. We wanna set our scale to the right scale. So right now it's 50, that's not gonna work. So it needs to be set up for 200, okay? And then, by law, in California, we can't have text smaller than a tenth of an inch. Okay, so I need to set that. Okay, and I'm going to say OK. So now my scale's set. Okay, so my labels will be the right size. Okay, now I w I've got a... What I want to do is I want to load my label settings for curve, curve labels and for segment labels, line labels, so that... Because you don't want to start with the, with the default settings. Right, because wherever you work, more than likely, somebody's taking the time to go in and configure the labels the way they want them to look, and so you want to make sure that you load those settings. Okay, so here's the problem that that we want to fix before we do that. So right now, if I go to annotate, um, annotate defaults, and I go to load my settings, okay, um, it keeps taking me to the C Carlson Project settings, okay, and that's kind of the um, that's like the default location, okay? But more than likely, that's not where your company's gonna keep their label settings or any of their Carlson settings, right? So we don't wanna have to repath this every time we're trying to load settings. Okay, so let me show you how to fix that. So if you come up to settings and go to set project data folders right here on your menu, okay, right here, you see this, um, let's see, Settings folder, use data folder for settings, that's not what we want. But right here it says startup settings folder. See right now it's set to uh, C Carlson project settings, we don't want that. Okay, we want it to go to where we store our settings. Okay, which for us is on our F drives. And it's in OneDrive because we operate on the cloud. So RH templates, RH CAD, Carlson survey. That's where we have all of our settings for Carlson. So we're going to we're going to put that in the startup and in the current startup settings folder and current settings folder. We're going to hit okay. Now, now we're now we can set our label defaults without having to repath all the time. Okay? So we're going to come in here to annotate. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to annotate defaults. Okay? And we're going to load our defaults. Okay? And right now because I picked the right folder, they're showing up. And so what we want is we want arc and arrow. Okay, that's the direction arrow. We want that. Actually, what it's this one. I'm sorry. It's this RH basic. That's the one we want. Okay, so now those are loaded. We can hit OK. 
right now we also have to load curve settings because those are specific there's some extra stuff specific to curves so we're going to come in here to annotate arc and we're going to say label arc okay uh, that may not be what I wanted okay yeah so when you click on your arc your first arc it's going to bring up this dialog box and right here you can click load to load these settings okay and here we go RH curve basic that's what we want we also have one for stack but that, we're not going to use that one okay so now we've, lo we've loaded our label settings okay and so that curve is obviously way too small for that at that scale <laughs> okay so we'll use the stack one in a minute but okay so just to review what we just talked about you come to annotate on your menu annotate defaults hit the load button that'll set your settings for your default settings which includes the settings for your segment labels your line labels your bearings and distances okay then to do your curves you got to come down to annotate annotate arc pull up the dialog just hit label arc pull up the dialog and it'll load those so let's do stack label arc Okay, and so that it doesn't have the right settings. Okay, so I need to fix that as well. So let's go. I got to remember how to do that. Okay, so right when you hit label arc, you go to options. No, that's not it. Let's try. Okay, so now you can see it when I when I go to stack label, it says O for options. We can type O, so we're going to do that. Okay, here's our here. So here's our options. Okay, so again, we're going to go in and we're going to load. Okay, so apparently I haven't done these yet. Okay. So I'll get those fixed and, and, and then we can load those. All right, so now that we have our, our label settings loaded, we want to go ahead and create our actual labels. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to come into annotate and I'm going to do my bearings and distances on my line segments first because that's easier. Okay, so I'm going to come in here and I'm going to start tagging my lines. Okay, and then you're going to see some of these lines, the labels don't fit so we're going to come back and fix those it basically if you don't get crow's feet they're not going to fit this one's not going to fit this one might fit okay so these two aren't going to fit either okay and you just don't know until you try that one's not going to fit this one might fit okay so that one fits barely that one doesn't fit that one barely fits okay and the rest of these aren't going to fit okay so if they don't fit if you don't get your crow's feet that means your labels too long okay then what you want to do is you want to come in and instead of going to annotate angle distance bearing distance we're going to come down to annotate with leader okay and we're going to say bearing distance with leader okay and then we're going to well see now it's telling me that one will fit so that one will fit. Let's try this one. Yeah, that one didn't fit. Okay, now, so let me show you. This is a bug. This is actually a bug with Carlson. Okay, so Carlson doesn't like to do the, uh, the drag that they call them stacked. They, they don't like to do the, the labels that are stacked with a leader. If you have this as an X ref right now, so it, it doesn't like that. It's telling me, yeah, I don't want to do that. So let me let me show you the hack for that. Okay, I wish I wish you didn't have to have a hack, but you do. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go open our boundary design drawing that has our line work. Okay, you gotta create your labels in here. Your, your labels that are stacked or that have a leader. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So again, I'm going to come down here to annotate with leader. I'm going to grab bearing distance with leader. Okay, now you can see now that I'm not in the XREF, it's doing this the way I want, right? 
Okay, it looks like that one will fit. That one will fit. That one fits. That one's getting a little tight, so I'm going to pull it out. That one fits. That one fits. That one is not going to fit, so I'll pull it out. That one fits. That one fits. That one doesn't fit very good, so I'm going to pull it out. This one isn't going to fit, so I'm going to pull it out. And this one isn't going to fit, so I'm going to pull it out. Now you notice this is just a bug. When they don't fit, you got to come in and if you drag the label out because they won't fit, you got to go in and delete these really funky crow's feet. That's just a bug in Carlson. Okay, so now I think I've got these labels the way I want. I got some extra crow's feet here we need to get rid of. Sorry. Oop, I did the wrong one. So, <clears throat> I got the labels the way I want now. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just come in and select these now. And what you can do to make that easy is just because I don't want to, it's going to take me forever. Uh, so I want to just freeze my, uh, you have to bear with me here because I'm not a Carlson master. I just want to freeze my, uh, I want to freeze my layers that I don't need. Okay, so now I can just window select all my labels. Okay, so we're just going to control C those or edit copy. And we're going to come in here and we're going to edit clipboard, paste to original coordinates. Okay, now I've got all my labels in here. Okay, where I want. Now you can see some of these got doubled up. So you just got to go in and clean those up. I just double labeled some stuff. And that's okay, it's not the end of the world. Okay, so here's another one that got doubled up. All right, I'm gonna pause this, and then we'll do our uh, we'll do our our stacked labels on our curves. Okay. All right, guys. So we want to do our curve labels here, and because of the scale I'm at, these these most of my curve labels won't fit. They need to be stacked. Okay. So to do that, we want to again we want to load our label settings, right? So you come in to annotate arc stack label arc right here. It gives you you can type O for options, or just type options, either one. So we'll do that. Okay, and what we want to do now is we want to say load, and we want to go load. If you're set to the right settings folder, you'll just see this RH stack curve label dot ANS. We want to load that. Okay, and then hit OK. Now we can grab it. Now again, it's giving me that bug, see, because I'm in my XREF. So I actually can't do it in this drawing. Okay, I have to come over and do it in this drawing. My boundary design. No, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, my boundary design. So let's turn all our layers back on. Okay. So same command. Annotate. Annotate arc. Stack label. See if this works. Okay, now it's working, right? So that's what I wanted. So I'm just going to come in here and create my labels on all these curves that don't fit. Okay, and these are all tangent curves, so I don't need to label the the chords or the radials. They're all tangent. In this particular case, they're all tangent. If they weren't tangent and you wanted to add some chord information or some radial information, you can do that in your settings. Okay. Okay, so now we want to just copy the curve labels we created. Okay, so we're just going to go grab those with the leaders. Okay, and we're going to go edit, 
clipboard, copy. We're going to jump over to our anode drawing. We're going to say edit, clipboard, paste to original coordinates. Now our curve labels are in. Okay, so we've got all our labels in, and you notice we've got the right number of significant digits here, right? Two hundredths on all the distances, one second on all the angles or bearings. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that, with how this turned out. I've got a, some funky crow's feet that still need to get cleaned up, but I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I think it looks pretty good. Okay, these, let's see, these are all, they're on the right layer, it's just the layer's not the right color. So uh, they're on this survey text, boundary text. We like that to be color 53 at my shop. Okay, so now they're even at the right, the right color. We'll save that. Okay, and then we want to just come back into the boundary design. We don't, at my shop, we don't keep any labels in our design, in our boundary uh, design drawings. That's just supposed to be line work. Okay, so now we have just our line work again. Okay, so I'll save that. Okay, and then the last thing we want to do, so I've got my boundary anode drawing set up now. We'll just detach this XREF, okay, before we save this. Because all we want in our anode drawing is the labels. Okay, now our labels are ready to go. So just a quick review. Before you do an, a, an anode drawing in Carlson, figure out what scale your map product, your, your mapping product is going to be at, your work product. Set the scale on your drawing. Remember, you do that here in Settings, Drawing Setup. Set your scale, your horizontal scale. Okay. Then you want to go in and you want to load your label settings. You do that in Annotate, Annotate Defaults. That'll take care of your line labels or your segment labels, your bearing distance labels. Okay. And then you come down here, you do Annotate Arc. Grab an arc, hit the Options. Go into the Options for that command and that'll let you load your curve settings. Okay. Same thing here, stack label arc, tag an arc, go into options, you can load your stacked, your stacked label arc settings as well. At my shop, we have settings for all those. They're in the folder we've set up to store our Carlson settings, right, which are like a style in Civil 3D. So you don't, have to reinvent, you don't have to reinvent the wheel each time, and you shouldn't be creating labels with the default styles. They're not going to look right. You want to make sure that you use the styles that your company has set up for Carlson. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.